Hi, welcome to the AU channel. My name is Denise. Today um, I will be showing you guys how to make a little easy cupcake craft. Um, and this is something you can do when you're bored or if you just want to make a little quick art project. Um, and it's really cute and you can always attach it to a birthday card so it looks really good. So I hope you enjoy. For this is only four things. You will need markers, or you can do pencils if you prefer, um, glue, a pair of scissors, and construction paper. So we are going to start out by making the base of the cupcake. The color I'm going to use for the base is a brown. And actually, I didn't mention that you might want to use a pen or a pencil to trace it before you cut. So for the base, um, I'm going to do something like this. Doesn't You don't have to draw it perfectly because you're going to be cutting it anyways. I kind of like to draw it, that way I know what I'm going to cut into. base you definitely want to do a brown color or a cream color. Um, brown would be like chocolate or like a light cream color would be like vanilla. Or you could do red for red velvet too if you prefer. So um, what I will cut out right now is this shape right here and then I'm gonna be folding it right here in the middle. So be really careful when you're using scissors. Definitely use it um, with help of your parent or guardian. Um, so you just kind of cut through the lines. So now we are gonna fold it across the line like that. And our base is gonna look like this. So now the next thing we are going to do is the top part. So that's gonna be um, all the frosting. Um, so I kinda like to do like a vanilla um, top. So what I'm gonna do is draw the shape of a cloth. Well, first we're gonna actually fold our white paper in half like this. And now what I'm gonna do is draw the shape of a cloud that we will be cutting into. So it'll look kind of like this. So I'm gonna cut, this is the shape of the cloud and I'm gonna cut all on that. So. And you don't have to do a cloud shape, you can also just do like a half circle kind of shape or a different kind of shape that you like. Um, I've always just kind of liked the little uh, cloud cupcake shape idea. Um, so it's going to look like this, right? And then what I'm going to do is cut it in half, so it's gonna look like that, but I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay. So now I've got my base, my two cloud shapes, and now um, the last thing I'll be cutting out is uh, the cherry that's gonna go on the cupcake. So I'm going to draw a circle and I'm gonna cut into it. So 
What I did here is I have my red piece of paper. I folded it in half like we did with the white one. And I'm gonna draw a circle shape on it. A little big, but not too big, you know. Something that's gonna go on top of the cupcake. So kind of like this somewhere. And now I'm gonna start cutting into it. So I have my two little circles and my two clouds and my base. I'm going to first um, glue this. We're going to glue both sides of the base like that. This way, that way it looks double-sided, um, our cupcake. Then what I'm going to do is grab one of the cloud shapes and I'm going to put glue on the bottom of one of the sides. So right here I put my glue and I am going to paste it, I'll show you right now, like this on my cupcake. And now I'm going to turn my cupcake around and I'm going to take my second cloud, put some glue on the bottom again of one of the sides. Like this. And I stick it on the cupcake. So now we have a cute little cupcake um, ne the next thing I'm going to do is take one of the little circles, put glue on only one side of it, of course, and stick it on the top of the white part of the cupcake. So like this. And next, uh, grab the other little circle piece and I will also, um, stick it on the top of the cupcake. So now I have my cute little cupcake and the last thing I need to do is if I want to, I can add some toppings. So I'm just going to do a couple of little um, pink and yellow sprinkles. So nothing crazy, just a couple just to make it a little more colorful and cute. Just little dots or little lines and it makes, gives it a little touch of something. There you go. You have your delicious, yummy two-sided cupcake. I hope you enjoyed.